You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Radio Show, only on Financial News and Talk. Now live in studio, your host, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries as we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports, even poking fun at the rest of the media. This is the show that connects the dots of confusion. Delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots. You know the actions you can take how your family or business can benefit in current events. Most of all, thank you for joining me. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day. A very focused show. We only chat about items that affect the roof over your head, your bank account, and anything I feel would benefit you. And let me remind you, if you ever have any home or finance-related questions, I am the consumer advocate looking out for you. And you can reach out to me directly, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or com. Just remember, that's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. There are operators standing by. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. While I do have a great team, when it comes to developing a financing plan, a plan to save you money, I personally work with you, even if you don't have any needs today. Save this number in your phone for future reference. 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. And yes, we're celebrating today. We celebrate every day on Ron Siegel Radio. No, we're not going to check. Not going to celebrate National Check Your Wipers Day. No, no, not, not going to go. You know, we're in California. I mean, I guess this National Day calendar that we use, they don't realize that. You know, we don't get rain ever in California. This is a little exception. But National Check Your Wipers Day in the middle of May, really? Uh, National Piercing Day. Well, if you know me. You know I'm not a big fan of piercing. Coquel St. Jacques Day. Yeah, I like that one. It's not something that most people are too familiar with, but I like it. Uh, classic Movie Day. That's probably the only time that the movies were any good is in the classics. International Day of Light. Okay. Do something good for your neighbor. Isn't that every day? You know, we, we got to get to the good stuff here. So... And I don't understand this one, Josh. Today's National Mimosa Day. Didn't we do that on Sunday? Uh, Now, I'm going to share with you that I did get a little bit of insight on my last trip to Paso Robles because I'm not a champagne guy. And I know that champagne is a key ingredient to mimosa. But wineries in, in Paso Robles are good at selling wine. Right? That's why you go to their tasting rooms. and So I go to one of my favorites. Tobin James, was a, it's a fun, fun winery in Paso Robles. If you've never been there, you should go. And I'm chatting with them, and I have a, I'm a member of their wine club. And I made a comment that, you know, when I get my, my semi-annual shipment, or, or however often, when I get my shipments from them, it has a couple of wines that I'm just not fan, a fan of. I'm not a fan of port wine, and I'm not a real fan of champagne. I like Zinfandel's and and Merlot's red wines. So the gentleman at the tasting room said, hey, here's how Toby likes this. You take a little bit of champagne. It doesn't have to even be a good champagne. And pour some port on top of the champagne. It makes it a little sparkling. Just drizzle it on top. And you know something? It was pretty good. So bottom line, they got me to buy two extra bottles of wine or two extra styles of wine by just a little sampling. Sampling works. Ah, National Mimosa Day. And then we're going to go to the biggie. Now, this is one of my favorites. Josh, I don't know if you've got there yet when when you've been out in Southern California. Hickory and Spice. This is a... A uh, champion pit master, not pit bull, but barbecue pit master. Rick, there, National Barbecue Day. Rick makes the best barbecue I've ever had. It is amazing, not cheap, but it's amazing food. I, I only open Thursday through Sunday until they run out of food because they're smoking the food for a long time. It takes a while to make it. When you're lucky enough on a Sunday, to get beef rib, 
And notice I did not say beef ribs because I don't know too many people that can eat more than one. They're massive. In fact, my wife and I share one and still have a leftover. But it is the best. National Barbecue Day is today. And I want to know where your favorite barbecue restaurant is. Send us a note, and we'll see how that compares to my friends over at Hickory and Spice. And no, they don't pay me to say that. Although I'll probably send them a text telling them we talked about them today. Uh, let's take a look and see what's going on in the markets today. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is now down 198 points. S&P 500 down 9.67. NASDAQ is up 32.32. Oil is off 24 cents a barrel. And the 10-year Treasury, it's going up again, 3.563. Why is it going up when we've been getting some good inflation numbers? Well, that's why you tune into Ron Siegel Radio. I'm going to tell you. Can you say, thank you, Jerome Powell? Such an idiot. Such an idiot. Yeah, that's what I would say. Such an idiot. So, you know, with the stupidity of the Federal Reserve, and causing our banking crisis that we have now. Oh, no, I'm not supposed to say there's a banking crisis because they don't want you to believe know that there's a banking crisis. So what's causing the 10-year Treasury to go up, and why do I say Jerome Powell is at fault? Well, the bottom line is there's a banking crisis, right? So the community banks have a lot of problems. We're seeing money flowing out of these community banks. How do they get the money out of the community banks. Well, the people that have money on deposit there are going and saying, I want my money back. Why? Because they're getting next to no return on their deposits. Well, the Federal Reserve has increased interest rates over and over and over again. Jerome Powell has no clue. He doesn't realize that that's what's causing this big problem. Now, the banks don't keep all their money when you put a deposit in there. They can't, you know, they're not like the federal government. They can't just print money. So they have to invest that money. They put it into bonds. Well, as the yield goes up, the price or the value of the bond drops. Who's been causing the price of the the yields of the bonds to go up? Yes, Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve. So when the banks need money, what do they have to do? They have to sell their bonds. That creates more supply of the bonds. When the supply goes up, if the demand doesn't go up at the same time, the price comes down. It's math. When the price goes down, the yield goes up. That's why we're seeing right now that the 10-year treasury is going up again, 3.563 as I speak to you. The more banks, as you watch that go up, that's just telling you there's more banks in trouble. It's just a very early leading indicator saying the banks, why? Because the banks can't get any more money. Where do they get their They can't go to the market and say, I want to sell stock. Nobody wants it. Their stock prices have dropped dramatically over the last, you know, four or five months. And as more people say they want their money back, it's a vicious circle that keeps going round and round and round. And the Federal Reserve doesn't want to talk about it. Even to the point that when reporters go into the Federal Reserve meetings and they're allowed to ask questions, Well, the Federal Reserve, in addition to increasing interest rates, they're also letting money or bonds roll off of their balance sheet. Well, when they pay, when these are getting paid off and they roll off the bond balance sheet, $65 billion a month, right? See, what happens there is that creates more supply. So the banks are putting bonds in the market. The Federal Reserve is letting supply go to the market. There's not enough demand to match all of that. So you start seeing the prices continue to fall. So it's both the banks and the Federal Reserve working in cohorts to watch these prices fall. That's where the big problem is coming from, and we're continuing to see that. And the Federal Reserve, they're a bunch Such of idiots. Such an idiot. Such an idiot. Right? They don't Such follow what's going on. They're not listening to what's going on. They're not watching what's going on. They're watching the rearview mirror, and they're not watching what's going on in the future. Just throwing that out there. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. Got a lot of solutions for you today. So I know that there's people that bought houses last year as interest rates were increasing. And unfortunately, we're seeing divorces and defaults. As we get closer and closer, maybe we're even in a recession, we're going to see more and more of these. What is the solution? We're going to talk about that. 
We're going to also talk about the impact of inflation on mortgage rates. Homeowners have incredible equity to leverage right now. Got a veteran segment, and we're going to give away a trip. So we got a lot to cover today. You can reach me anytime. Our off-air number, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, shame on you, but the replay is available. Ron Siegel 1 on YouTube. Ron Siegel, the numero 1 on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Ron Siegel Radio. Your home and mortgage connection. Are you like many of your neighbors trying to figure out how to pay off your debts so you could retire someday? Build bigger savings. Invest in opportunities. Visit rsrnodebt.com. Debt will destroy 50% of Americans from being able to retire earlier and with more. What if you could have a guaranteed program that could show you how to eliminate all of your debt in 10 years or less, all without having to spend more each month than you spend right now? Yes, that's correct. All without spending more from your checkbook each month than you are today. Get your free analysis today to see if you qualify. Visit rsrnodebt.com. Log on today for your free analysis, rsrnodebt.com. No purchase necessary. The free analysis takes only two minutes, rsrnodebt.com. Ron Siegel Radio is your home and mortgage connection. Go to rsrnodebt.com, rsrnodebt.com. Are you paying rent because you cannot afford to live in your dream home? Are you paying rent because you don't believe you have the down payment funds to purchase your own home? At Siegel Lending Team at RonIsMyLender.com has up to $25,000 to help qualified people purchase their own home at amazing interest rates. Contact the Siegel Lending Team today at RonIsMyLender.com. Again, RonIsMyLender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037. RonIsMyLender.com. Do you know a homeowner experiencing divorce? Do you know a real estate reference and the divorce decree could cost tens of thousands of dollars? A certified divorce mortgage planning and real estate report could save you thousands of dollars, and it's free from your local certified divorce lending professional. Reach out to Ron today. Ronismylender.com. Again, Ronismylender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Are you a renter and tired of making monthly payments? Paying off someone else's mortgage? Hey, it's Ron Siegel here to help you stop renting and start owning your dream home with amazing low interest rates. And you could potentially qualify for a $500,000 home for less than $5,000 out of pocket. So stop renting, start owning with Ron Siegel. Learn more at ronsiegelradio.com and start owning today. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local... Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. The Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You make the call. Every day at this time, OBMMI, they provide the most comprehensive, accurate, timely, and interactive analysis of pricing ever conducted in the mortgage industry, calculated from actual locked rates with consumers across 42% of all mortgage transactions nationwide. What did the loans lock at yesterday? They don't tell us APR. They don't tell us points paid or points received. We just know the rates. And yesterday, the conforming loans, 30-year, locked at 647 Jumbo loan, 6.488. That was down a bit. FHA loan, 6.448, up a little bit. 
USDA loans. Those are for the rural areas. Generally, no down payment, 6.467. That was up. And the 30-year VA loan, best loan on the market for those that earned it. That one locked at 6.148. That was up a little bit as well. Let's take a look at what's going on today. I told you the 10-year treasury is up seven basis points, 3.564. S&P 500 is now down 11. And the mortgage-backed securities are down 17 basis points, meaning interest rates are heading upward right now. And I gave you a little bit of the reasons why in the last segment. It's just a supply problem. The banks are putting bonds on the market. The Treasury is putting bonds on the market. Got more supply than demand. Prices go down. And the yield goes up. That part of it's mathematics. It's the exact same reason I give you that that real estate values are not and will not be going down is because there's a balance of supply and demand. There's actually more demand than supply. When there's more supply than demand, prices go up. So we're just watching these numbers as they move along. Got the retail sales for the month of April rose 0.4%, which was half of what market estimates were. Sales increased 0.5% over the last year. The lowest growth rate in three years and well below the historic average of 4.8%. More indication of us heading to recession. After adjusting for inflation, though, the story is far worse. Real estate sales fell 4.2% over the last year. The sixth consecutive year-over-year decline. However, core retail sales, which strips out automobiles, gasoline, building materials, and food services, rebounded 0.7% last month, which was well above the 0.4% expected. There were negative revisions in the previous two months. However, tempering this gain, March core retail sales were revised lower by 0.1%, and February was revised lower by 0.5%. Core retail sales is important as it is imputed into the GDP numbers. The jump in core sales added some pressure to the bond market, but bonds have gained back some of the losses of the mar- as the market digests some of the revisions. New York Fed released their household debt and credit card report showing the delinquencies moved higher in the first quarter and will probably get worse in the second quarter. This is not a good sign for the economy and typically precedes a downturn and a recession. The amount of standing credit card debt is now nearing $1 trillion. Make sure to give us a call if you've got any questions on that. Maybe you can use some of your equity to solve that problem. And uh, we're just throwing that out there because we're seeing some folks going from, yeah, 35 4% loans, mortgages, going to a 7%, but they're able to get rid of their 20% credit card debt, 25% credit card debt, getting rid of their student loan debt, getting rid of their auto debt. It helps. Look at the overall picture. Don't just look at one item. CoreLogic reported that rents rose 4.3% year over year in March, which is down from 5% in the previous report showing that rents continue to decelerate on a year-over-year basis. This is the 11th month in a row of year-over-year deceleration, which will help inflation in the coming months as it catches up. Cash freight index fell 1.3% last month to 2.4 year-over-year. Cash freight said the freight market remains muted and continues to work through an extended soft patch, unquote. The inferred rate, which factors in the cost per shipment, fell 4% last month to 11.9% year over year. Cash freight said that fuel prices are transitioning from an inflationary factor to a deflationary one as we pass the anniversary of the fuel price spikes that followed Russia's invasion of Ukraine last year. They estimate that lower fuel prices will knock up about 5% off freight rates annually starting mid-second quarter. This speaks to lower inflation, which coincides with our forecasts for inflation in the next couple of months. That's the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial when you're ready for that next home loan. Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. So let's start off with talking about equity right now, real-time real estate, brought to you by rsrmoney.com. Homeowners have incredible equity to leverage right now. Even though home prices have moderated over the last year, many homeowners still have an incredible amount of equity. But what is equity? In the simplest terms, equity is the difference between the market value of your home and the amount you owe on your mortgage. The National Association of Realtors, NAR, explains how your equity grows over time. Quote, housing wealth, 
That would be home equity or net worth gains are built up through price appreciation by paying off the mortgage, unquote. How your equity can help you achieve your goals, the equity you build up over the years can be used to your advantage when you sell your current house and buy your next home. If you no longer have the space you need, it might be time to move into a larger home. Or it's possible you have too much space and need something smaller. No matter the situation, your equity can be a powerful tool you can use to make a move in today's market. That's because it may be some, if not all, of what you need for your down payment on your next home. And how much equity you have may surprise you. A recent survey from Realtor.com finds that many homeowners today estimate they've built up a significant amount of equity. And we like the idea of having that significant amount of equity. And I don't know if we've got the chart there or not, but, you know, we're always finding some sort. Yeah, Josh always has them there. So the chart showing homeowners today have significant equity. That's more than $100,000, 74%. They estimate that more than $300,000 in equity, 20% of the homes have more than 300000 That's probably the California population. The latest data from CoreLogic helps solidify why homeowners are feeling so good about the equity they've gained over time. Selma Hepp, chief economist for CoreLogic, says, quote, while equity gains contracted in late 2022 due to home price declines in some regions, U.S. homeowners, on average, still have about $270,000 in equity, nearly $90,000 more than they had at the onset of the pandemic, unquote. If you're looking to leverage your equity to boost your buying power in today's market, have a trusted agent by your side makes a difference. A real estate professional can help you better understand the value of your home so you'll get a clearer picture of how much equity you likely have. As a recent article from Bankrate says, quote, hiring a skilled real estate agent can give you a realistic estimate of home prices in your area and how much to price your current home. Using that figure, you can calculate how much equity you have and what your net proceeds will look like so you can apply that money towards the down payment and closing costs of your new home, unquote. Having a solid understanding of your equity is key when it comes to making decisions about buying or selling your home. A skilled agent can help you navigate the often com complicated process of selling your house and ensure the transaction goes smoothly. Bottom line, today many homeowners are sitting on substantial amount of equity and you may be, may be one of them. Give me a call at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Let's chat about that equity and what you can do with it, what it might be able to, how you might be able to put it to, to work for you. And again, just give me a call, 800-306-1990. Now let's think about the next step of that. Where are you going to go? Or do you, are, you, are you having some problems with these things right now? And I know there's a lot of people that are stressing, especially if you bought a house last year. And if you used a minimum down payment last year, you're probably either break even or maybe underwater a little bit, especially if you used an FHA loan or something along those lines because you're adding the, the, the upfront mortgage insurance premium to the loan. What can you do with that property if you want to get out from under it? Well, there are options, and it's all done in the world of creative finance. You're not going to hear this from realtors because they're going to say you have to short sell the property. And that is not necessarily true. It is one option, and it takes a long time. But if you go to some of the folks that call me every day, and they've got creative financing options, they can actually buy that property from you at the, at the full value and you know, just make it disappear from you and from your headache. Now, you might say, well, Ron, how do, you, how do you do that? It's not simple enough to just talk about on radio, but it's not that difficult. The idea, the concept here, make a call or just go and book an appointment with us. Book rs15.com. Book rs15.com. Put in the notes there that you want to talk about creative financing and you've got a problem property. And we'll have one of our team will give you a call back. It might even be me that'll give you a call back and explain how this solution can help you. It's not that difficult and far better for you than foreclosure. Foreclosure is going to stay on your, on your credit for a long time. 
It's going to hurt your credit scores. You can get out of this well before that. Even if you're in the in a foreclosure situation now, you've already got the notice of trustee sale. There are ways around that and to stop it in a heartbeat. But it takes a phone call. Book that consultation. Book rs15.com. Book rs15.com. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. When we come back, the impact of inflation on mortgage rates. We'll talk about that one. I've got a VA segment for you. Buy a guide to buying a home near a school. And oh yeah, visit Anaheim. They've got our events for next weekend. Get them early so that we can get them all ready for you and get them get them uh, processed. And I don't know where where should we give away this trip to for for this weekend? Let's uh, I don't know. We haven't we haven't done Nashville in a while, have we, Josh? Nashville is a good one. Let's give away a trip four days, three nights, a certificate four days, three nights in Nashville. No, we don't pay the taxes or fees. And you'll have until next Friday evening to claim your trip. Reach me anytime off air number 800-306-1990, or Radio.com, Facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, Ron Siegel 1 on YouTube. Ron Siegel, the numeral 1 on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Ron Siegel Radio. Your home and mortgage connection. Do you know a homeowner experiencing divorce? Do you know a real estate reference and the divorce decree could cost tens of thousands of dollars? A certified divorce mortgage planning and real estate report could save you thousands of dollars, and it's free from your local certified divorce lending professional. Reach out to Ron today. Ronismylender.com. Again, Ronismylender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Are you tired of paying rent? Are you tired of paying someone else's mortgage? Do you know qualified folks can potentially purchase a $500,000 home for less than $5,000 out of pocket? Ron Siegel can help qualified people purchase their own home at amazing interest rates. If you're tired of paying someone else's mortgage, reach out to Ron today at ronismylender.com. That's ronismylender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Hey friends, do you dream of mortgage-free home ownership? Are you aware that even if you own your home free and clear, it could still be costing you thousands per year? The Siegel Lending Team can help you generate tax-free income, accumulate family wealth, and maintain ownership of your home. By simply emailing your most recent mortgage statement, you'll receive a no-obligation real estate plan. Learn more by calling 1-800-306-1990 or email me your recent mortgage statement to P-E-A-R at ronsegalradio.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Are you a renter and tired of making monthly payments? Paying off someone else's mortgage? Hey, it's Ron Siegel here to help you stop renting and start owning your dream home with amazing low interest rates. And you could potentially qualify for a $500,000 home for less than $5,000 out of pocket. So stop renting. Start owning with Ron Siegel. Learn more at ronsegalradio.com and start owning today. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Are you like many of your neighbors trying to figure out how to pay off your debts so you could retire someday? Build bigger savings. Invest in opportunities. Visit rsrnodebt.com. Debt will destroy 50% of Americans from being able to retire earlier and with more. What if you could have a guaranteed program that could show you how to eliminate all of your debt in 10 years or less, all without having to spend more each month than you spend right now? Yes, that's correct. All without spending more from your checkbook each month than you are today. Get your free analysis today to see if you qualify. Visit rsrnodebt.com. Log on today for your free analysis, rsrnodebt.com. No purchase necessary. The free analysis takes only two minutes, rsrnodebt.com. Ron Siegel Radio is your home and mortgage connection. Go to rsrnodebt.com, rsrnodebt.com. 
You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local... I gotta love it. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions, as well as tremendous opportunities. We just, You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. Hey, Josh, did we talk about the impact of mortgage rates... On the impact of inflation on mortgage rates, I might have done that already, and I might just, uh, I'm, I, yeah, I might, I might be. Let's talk about the worst. The worst home price declines are behind us. Let's talk about that one. We can do that today. I've got, we're ready. I mean, you got it, got it all ready just in case we need something. The worst home price declines are behind us. If you're following the news, and this is a real time real estate segment brought to you by RSRMoney.com. If you're following the news today, you may feel a bit unsure about what's happening with home prices and fear whether or not the worst is yet to come. That's because today's headlines are painting an unnecessarily negative picture, contrary to those headlines. Home prices aren't in a free fall. The latest data tells a very different and much more positive story. Local home price trends still vary by market, but here's what the national data tells us. If we take a year-over-year view, Home prices stayed positive. They just appreciated more slowly than they did at the peak of the pandemic. To get a more detailed picture of some of the trends in the market, we need to look at monthly data. The monthly graphs, and we we, we talked a little bit about this yesterday with Tony Patrick, but the graphs of the recent reports from three three sources show that the worst home price declines are already behind us. If you're waiting for rates to drop or prices to drop, you missed it. Prices are on their way back up nationally. And being that I'm throwing all these curveballs, oh, Josh has got it. I'm throwing all these curveballs at him. I didn't know if we'd have this one. The story, if you're watching us on ronsegalradio.tv, any of our socials, or the ABC News and Talk AM 1490 video feed, you're seeing home prices are stabling. It's a chart, month over month, percentage change in home values, seasonally adjusted. And you can see the worst of it was in August and September of last year. Uh, FHFA, basically, that was the only month, well, down negative 0.1 in November and 0.3 in December. So prices are just not going down much. The story, the story, this more detailed monthly view tells us is that the latest year, the last year has been a tale of two halves in the housing market. In the first half of 2022, home prices were climbing and they peaked in June. Then in July, home prices started to decline. That's shown in red on the graph that we had for you. And by roughly August or September, the trend began to stabilize. As we look at the most recent data for the early part of 2023, the graphs also show a recent rebound in momentum with prices ticking back up. Monthly changes in home prices are gaining steam as we move into the busier spring season. While one to two months doesn't make a trend, The fact that all three reports show prices have stabilized is an encouraging sign for the housing market. The month-over-month data conveys a clear but early consensus that a national shift is taking place today. In essence, home prices are starting to tick back up. Andy Walden, vice president of enterprise research at Black Knight, says this about price trends. Quote, just five months ago, prices were declining on a seasonally adjusted month-over-month basis in 92% of all major U.S. markets. Fast forward to March, and the situation has done a literal 180, with prices now rising in 92% of markets from February, unquote. Selma Hep, chief economist of CoreLogic, explains the limited supply of homes available for sale is contributing to this positive turn. Prices in many large metros appear to have turned the corner with the U.S. recording a second month of consecutive monthly gains. The monthly rebound in home prices underscores the lack of inventory in this housing cycle, unquote. Here's what this means for you. Sellers, if you've been holding off on selling because you're worried about what has happening with home prices and how it would impact the value of your home, it may be time to jump back in and partner with an agent to list your house. You don't have to put your needs on hold any longer because the latest data shows a turn in your favor. Buyers. If you've been waiting to purchase because you didn't want to purchase something that would decrease in value, you now have the peace of mind things are looking up. Buying now lets you make your move before home prices climb more and gives you the chance to own an asset 
that typically grows in value over time. Bottom line, if you put off your plans to move because you're worried about home prices falling, data shows the worst is already behind us and prices are actually rising nationally. Give me a call at 800 306 1990 That's the real-time real estate segment brought to you by rsrmoney.com rsrmoney.com. And think about this concept. I know that there's a lot of folks out there that are very, very concerned about being homeless. Not the kind that's out there on the streets right now. The concept here is those folks that are homeless just because they don't want to go and buy a new property and have two and they don't want to sell their existing property and not have any place to live. So what do you do? You don't want to be homeless. So here's the concept. There is a way for you to solve that problem. You got to just talk to understanding, again, creative financing. And creative financing will solve that problem in, you know, two or three days. You can basically have your so home sold and closed in just a few days. If you understand creative financing, if you're a property owner considering selling, it's likely that you're weighing up several options. Have you thought about maybe seller financing? This might be a revelation to you, a concept that could transform your sale process into something more beneficial for your financial situation. Seller financing is not just about the property. It's about you, the seller. It's an option where you don't have to face the immediate burden of hefty capital gains taxes or the pressure of dealing with a large sum of cash at one time. Instead, you can continue receiving a steady income and have a say in the terms of the deal. Remember, we don't give tax advice on Ron Siegel Radio. You've got to talk to a, ca a, a tax professional. But what is seller financing? Seller financing is a transaction method in which you, as the seller, Offer a loan to the purchaser of your property instead of the buyer securing a traditional bank loan. They make payments to you over a period of time. But why would this be good for you? Let's talk about some of the benefits. Number one, deferring capital gains. Again, talk to your CPA or tax professional. One of the primary motivations for sellers to consider seller financing is the deferred deferral of capital gains taxes using the installment sales structure. If you're a non-occupant homeowner, like a landlord, you're likely to have a significant capital gains tax obligation. Seller financing allows you to defer these taxes and avoid the immediate financial hit. Number two, continue to receive monthly income. If your property has been a source of regular income, selling it traditionally could leave a void. However, with seller financing, you can continue to receive monthly payments from the buyer Maintaining your income stream without the responsibilities of property ownership. Number three, avoid managing a large sum of money. Many sellers don't really need the lump sum payment from the sale of the property. In fact, managing a large sum of money can feel like a burden. Seller financing allows you to avoid this, providing a steady income over time instead. So the question is, is seller financing right for you? How do you know if seller financing is a good option for you? It's all about your situation and needs. If you're looking to avoid hefty capital gains taxes, maintain a steady income, or prefer not to manage a large sum of cash, then seller financing could be an excellent choice. By aligning the solution to your unique situation, you could turn what could be a stressful process into a beneficial and manageable experience. Let's talk about your options. If seller financing sounds like an option you'd like to explore further, Give me a call. Again, bookrs15.com, rs, bookrs15.com. No spaces, bookrs15.com. Have a chat with you, and I'll put you in touch with one of the investors that work with Ron Siegel Radio or sponsor the show and see if there is a good fit. We understand that it's more than just selling your property. It's about addressing your financial needs and finding the best solution for you. Again, reach out today to discuss how this may be beneficial for you. Do is it is it right for you? I have no idea. How would I know something like that? Because I don't know you. Bookrs15.com. Let's have a chat and see what makes sense for you. Josh, we got a lot in the next segment, so maybe we'll uh, go to break right now so we can get all of that in. 
You're listening to Ron Singer Radio discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets when we come back. On the town, a giveaway going to um, Nashville. That's what I said. I got to remember what I said in the last segment. Nashville, it's a certificate. Four days, three nights in Nashville. No, we don't pay the taxes or the fees at, or, or your drinking tab. I understand there's a little bit of drinking that goes on in Nashville. But, hey, we're going to give that away. On the town, brought to you by Visit Anaheim. And we'll see if we have time for our VA segment. All that and more. You can reach me anytime. Off air number 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. Or Facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, Ron Siegel 1 on YouTube. Ron Siegel, the numeral 1 on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Ron Siegel Radio. Your home and mortgage connection. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 0186945. Are you like many of your neighbors trying to figure out how to pay off your debts so you can retire someday? Build bigger savings. Invest in opportunities. Visit rsrnodebt.com. Debt will destroy 50% of Americans from being able to retire earlier and with more. What if you could have a guaranteed program that could show you how to eliminate all of your debt in 10 years or less, all without having to spend more each month than you spend right now? Yes, that's correct all without spending more from your checkbook each month than you are today. Get your free analysis today to see if you qualify. Visit rsrnodebt.com. Log on today for your free analysis, rsrnodebt.com. No purchase necessary. The free analysis takes only two minutes, rsrnodebt.com. Ron Siegel Radio is your home and mortgage connection. Go to rsrnodebt.com rsrnodebt.com Homeowners over the age of 62 are taking back financial control after retirement with reverse mortgages and the Siegel Lending Team is here to help you use it to your advantage. Call Ron Siegel with Geneva Financial to receive your free information booklet with no obligation. The booklet answers all your questions and the best part is you still own your home. Call Ron Siegel at 1-800-306-1990 or visit ronsiegelradio.com. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local... Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. On the town segment, brought to you by our friends at Visit Anaheim. Every week at this time, we get our segment from our friends at Visit Anaheim. Love these segments because it gives, I don't have to, it gives me just something simple, nice and easy to think about, not to have to think about where we're going to go. Let's see what Visit Anaheim has for us. This is for the weekend, 522 to 527. Major event of the week, Garden Grove Strawberry Festival. The Garden Grove Strawberry Festival is here this Memorial Weekend. May 26th through May 29th, the 63rd Annual Strawberry Festival celebrates the region's rich agricultural history and features live music, carnival rides, and plenty of delicious strawberry-themed treats. The activities run Friday from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m., Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., and then on Monday from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Don't miss out on celebrities and much more at one of the best parades in Orange County. Admission to the festival is free. Tickets for carnival rides and games are available for free. For more information, go to strawberryfestival.org. The romantic event of the week, Ooh, Cabernet and Bordeaux Festival. JW Marriott Anaheim Resort invites you to a special cab, Cabernet and Bordeaux Festival on May 25th, 5 to 7 p.m. The award-winning wines of Paso Robles Cab Collective and the culinary excellence Toca Ferro Italian Chop House 
will be showcased for food and wine enthusiasts to enjoy in the Serenity Garden of the resort. Tickets are $90 and available for purchase at eventbrite.com. That one looks good. Cabin Bordeaux Festival. Family event of the week. Fancy Nancy, the musical, returns to the Chance Theater for the sixth time on select days from May 26th to June 18th. Catch the show based on the popular Fancy Nancy books by Jane O'Connor on Saturdays and Sundays with a special Friday performance on May 26th at 7 p.m. Bring the family and watch as Fancy Nancy and her friends Bree, Rhonda, Wanda, and Lionel get ready to perform in their very first show, Deep Sea Dances. Tickets vary in price and are available for children and adults at Chance Theater. Dot com. Yeah, that's some that's some good looking stuff there from Visit Anaheim on the town. Brought to you every week. Visit Anaheim has that for us. Yeah, you gotta love those events. So are we queued up, Josh, for our giveaway, a, a trip to Nashville? So here's what we do, just because we can. I like the idea of giving away these trips. So you're gonna have we're and. and you don't have to do anything to enter. We just kind of put people in there, as many you know, people that have reached out to us over time. You're going to have until the 26th of May to reach out and collect your prize. I'm not going to call you. So we're, going to, we're telling you right now on radio, and it's going to be on all of our social channels. You'll have until the 26th of May to claim your prize. If you don't claim it by then, so sad, too bad. You lose. Out. So let's hit it, Josh. Let's see who's going to win. And you'll see that on the on the screen, we've got the dial spinning. Every line is a different person. I have no idea where it's going to stop. In fact, even now, I don't know who it's going to stop on. But Adam Liebline. Yeah, I know Adam Liebline. Okay, Adam Liebline, you're the winner. Four days, three nights, trip to... Nashville, we don't pay the taxes or the fees, but you get the certificate. You've got 18 months to use it, but you got to collect it. You've got to call and reach out to us by the 26th of May to get that certificate for four days, three nights. Adam Liebline, you're the winner. Right, you don't get to win again, so if you don't check it out, sorry about that. You lose. Uh, let's see. What do we have? Let's talk about veterans. I love our veterans. Strategies to get your VA offer accepted. Brought to you by rsrmoney.com. Veterans and active service members with over 20 years of experience in the real estate and finance industries, I'm here to share exclusive insights on how to make your VA home loan offer stand out and get accepted in today's highly competitive market. Point number one, firstly, understand the unique advantages of your VA loan. It's not just a benefit, it's a bargaining chip. No down payment, no mortgage insurance, and limited closing costs make your offer very attractive. Make sure your real estate agent communicates these benefits to the sellers so they see the value of a VA-backed buyer and all that you've done for our country. Point number two, get a VA-specific pre-approval. This goes beyond the usual pre-approval by verifying your VA loan eligibility. You want to make sure you get that underwritten as well. Our team does a great job of that at Geneva Financial ensuring there are no hitches down the line. Sellers will be confident that your offer is as good as cash. Number three, let's talk about the unique benefits of the VA loan process, the appraisal process that can play to your advantage. The VA's Tidewater Initiative allows for an open dialogue between the, between the appraiser and lender and the agent so the property's value seems to be coming in lower than expected. This process can help prevent low appraisals and ensure fair market value. Moreover, if a low appraisal does occur, the VA offers a reconsideration of value process where the lender can challenge the appraisal with new comparable sales data. These safeguards make your VA loan process more transparent, reliable, and seller-friendly. Show your seller that VA loan means a smoother journey to closing and I think we did this last week. We talked about the fact that the, on average, the VA loan is closing faster than conventional loans. There you have it. These strategies can significantly increase your chances of getting your VA home loan offer accepted. For more expert advice, visit ronsegalradio.com, ronsegalradio.com. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 
for more VA home loan tips. Until next time, thank you for your service, veterans, and happy house hunting. That is our veteran workshop brought to you by rsrmoney.com, rsrmoney.com. I think we got time for – do we have time for a Borrow Smart segment, Josh? I think we, I think we got it. Wow, we're doing good today. I'm, I'm not talking uh, – too much to drive Josh nuts when he tries to get this ready to get off to, to the syndicate to the syndicate. So let's talk about this one. Borrow Smart, again, brought to you by rsrmoney.com. It's an educational guide to buying a home near a school and covering the real estate insights with ronsingleradio.com. When considering purchasing a home near a school, it's essential to examine the potential benefits and drawbacks as they shed light on this important real estate decision. Purchasing a home close to a school can be both beneficial and challenging for potential homeowners. This is a guide for you. We're going to explore the advantages and disadvantages of living near a school and how you can get more information and help on ronsegalradio.com. You can also get more information and help rsrmoney.com. Pros of buying a home next to a school. Number one, convenience. For families with school-age children, the proximity to a school can significantly reduce commute times and transportation costs, making daily routines more manageable. Number two, property value stability. Homes located near reputable schools often maintain or appreciate in value compared to those in less desirable areas, positively impacting resale values and investment potential. Number three, community engagement. Schools often serve as hubs for community activities and events, allowing for increased involvement and a sense of belonging within the neighborhood. The cons of buying a home next to a school, number one, noise and traffic congestion. Schools can generate considerable noise and traffic, particularly during peak drop-off and pickup times, which might not be suitable for those seeking a more peaceful living environment, number two, pricey, privacy concerns. Depending upon the specific location and layout of the school, living nearby may result in reduced privacy due to students and staff passing by throughout the day, number three. Vandalism risk. Living near a school could reduce, could increase the risk of property vandalism or other disturbances, although this varies depending on specific area and community. Evaluating the pros and cons of purchasing a home next to a school is an essential step in making an informed decision. RonSingleRadio.com has valuable insights and advice to help you consider your options and make the best choice for your camp family. To gain more knowledge and guidance on real estate, home buying, financial planning, visit the site, rsrmoney.com, rsrmoney.com. The resources offer expert advice and tips on various topics, including mortgages, budgeting, and more, ensuring you have the information you need to make well-informed decisions. Are you interested in learning more about real estate and finance to make informed decisions for your family's future? Book rs15.com. That's a free consultation with me. Book rs15.com. Visit our ronsingerradio.com, rsrmoney.com. Lots of sources and resources for you. The only question is, are you going to take advantage of them? It's pretty simple if you just you know, make, the, make a little bit of an effort right there. It doesn't take a whole heck of a lot for you. That is our Borrow Smart segment brought to you by rsrmoney.com, rsrmoney.com. So kind of our theme today has been creative financing. Now, I want you to think about this one as well. Those of you that are living in mobile homes, manufactured homes, some of the requirements for some of those properties say that they have to be built after 1976. That's traditional financing. That is not creative financing. There are options for those mobile homes that were built before then. A lot of people don't want to tell you that. Why? Because they don't understand it. So we do understand that. We do understand not only traditional financing. We understand the non-QM financing, bank statement loans, and, and for self-employed individuals. But the creative financing. So you've got traditional, non-traditional, and creative. Three types of financing. Not everybody understands all of them. But because we've been doing radio for so long, we've had an opportunity to talk to a lot of different people. And we've heard a lot of stories about good and bad, the good, bad, and ugly of all of these things. 
So I want you to make sure that you don't just give up. If you're looking at, at default and distressed properties, call us, 800-306-1990. We've got solutions to make it a little easier for you to sleep at night or solve those problems. But I can't do it without your help. you got to book rs15.com. 15-minute consultation. We'll see what we have available, if there is anything. Now, there, I'm not guaranteeing there's a solution. But I'm thinking with between traditional, non-traditional, and creative, there might be something that can help you. And as always, I ask, set that first radio preset button to come back here and join Ron Siegel Radio, where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. Big thanks to Josh and Sean for engineering us today. And, of course, a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your day with us. That's all for Ron Siegel Radio. Again, if you have any questions or to meet any of our guests, call me anytime. 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. And remember, make a lot of money so you can help a lot of people and have a lot of fun. Have a great day. We'll talk to you next time on Ron Segal Radio. Mm-hmm.